It's Ann Feldman from the Bellevue Public Schools Instructional Technology Team, and today I'm going to talk about Super Slide videos. But before we dive into Super Slide videos and what a Super Slide video is, let's talk about why those are important. The ISTE standards for students, revised in 2016, says that students need to become knowledge constructors. And in that process, that is the process of creation where students create, and create by definition is making something out of nothing. So therefore, students are curating resources and using digital tools to construct their knowledge and produce creative artifacts. So with that in mind, let's talk about the super slide video process and how that relates to becoming a knowledge constructor. With super slide videos, students are involved in the process of developing the script, then creating props, and then recording their video. What makes this entire piece unique is that you don't need a large number of devices or a huge investment of time. So let's take a look into a classroom. Brett Myers at Mission Middle School in Bellevue created a project on using the super slide videos to research the Transcontinental Railroad. Students were posed the question as a group, what is the history of the Transcontinental Railroad? Then using books, websites, and resources, they found what Brent Myers at Mission Middle School, an eighth grade history teacher, charged his students with the following. As a group, you're going to research the history of the Transcontinental Railroad and then design, create, and share a super slide video using your iPad and a mesh shelf system. Students then began that process of researching, planning, practicing, and recording their video. Let's take a peek at what that looked like with the students. Students, after they had done their research, started to put together all of the artifacts to make their project. Now notice the student is assembling right now the photos on a sheet of paper and each of these papers will be used to slide under the camera on the iPad using this mesh shelving system. Now our teachers like to purchase these from our local hardware stores and this one in particular was a shelving unit and you can notice it was just unscrewed from the other layers to create four shelving units. What's fantastic about this is students can use the system to store their materials while they're creating their projects. Then when students assemble their papers, if you look, there's a black construction paper here on the table and that becomes their stage. And then anything that's either between these little pieces of masking tape or on the black papers um, will show on the video screen. So notice these teeth these students have taped their script so that they can read their script and we notice that we also love it's right at eye level and that the iPad kind of rests right at their chin level so it's perfect for recording and also for holding the scripts. So notice here you can see the group here at the front of the screen they are now sliding their papers across on top of the black construction paper and then talking through their script. Now students can assemble and then rehearse as much as they like but once they start to create the video, they do it in one take. Notice this student is using his phone for music and they'll play the music at the same time they're recording so that they can have music in that background. Oftentimes one student becomes the paper slider, another one kind of in charge of media, for example, any sounds or music, and the other person narrate the script and then they switch roles. Now, when I talk about the one take process, that means the following things. You have your, your mesh shelving system, but make sure it's stable so it's not going to move. And then in the camera app, you'll want to double tap to get a wide screen and then just touch and hold to lock the screen so it's not trying to zoom on you while you're recording. Then make the recording. When they're finished, we like to have the Seesaw workflow where students just upload their videos into Seesaw so that we can share them easily with classmates, teachers, and their parents. So what that looks like is when the student is finished, they just simply walk over, we have these hanging on the wall, they just scan the QR code, and then they choose camera roll. Just go ahead and click on the green arrows and then it's right there in Seesaw for everyone to see. Now this is an example in 
a Spanish classroom. So again, the same kind of idea, the students are writing the script, this time in Spanish. And for this project, students then went into the mesh shelving systems and they worked on this individually so that they could practice their fluency in Spanish. So again, these mesh shelves uh, are collapsible and fold and store very nicely and you can see that we can have multiple um, set up in one room. So all of those are nice ways to record. Then students start by creating their puppets. So using just straws, some images, of course some scissors, then kids just cut and paste and tape and create the puppets. And then they use those puppets again on that stage below the mesh shelving system and record their Spanish recordings. So the Super Slide projects are really wonderful because you only need one iPad per group. Everyone in the group has a role and it needs to be a part of the process. And it is so simple because it uses really just one app and then that one take process. So the recording process itself is less than five minutes. And then the super fast publishing there with Seesaw makes it easy to share their work and available for everyone to view and comment upon. Now you can also have super slide videos that are created by students to, I should just take this one out, so I will. So while you're thinking about instructional design for your classroom, just remember to build in time to create. As Albert Einstein says, creativity is contagious, pass it on. A special thanks to our BPS iPad Academy teachers, Sarah Horseman, Brent Myers, and Angelica Muscle, and to our super slide expert from Doan University, Lisa Pack. If you have any questions, you can find me, I'm on Twitter, at AnnFeldman1, or you can email me here in Bellevue Public Schools, Ann.Feldman at bpsne.net. Thank you for watching. <laughs>